Hey guys, today we'll be making a fall burlap deco mesh poofy wreath. What you will need, I have an adorable sign with a center. I have my wreath form that has the stems attached. I have 21 inch burlap. And then I have white, olive, and burlap ribbon. And white and brown deco mesh. Also Chanel stems, scissors, and a hot glue gun. All right, let's get started. So I have raised all my Chanel stems just because the process of placing the burlap is much faster this way. I'm going to unravel the burlap, pull it to a nice little point, start on the outer ring, pick a stem, place it down, and twist it a couple of times. Then I'm going to pull my burlap to make a nice poof. The size of the poof is completely up to you. You can make it large, small, whatever you prefer. Once you have your poof, Place it in the very next Chanel stem and twist it a couple of times. And then just continue doing this all the way around the outer ring. And try to keep the poofs as uniform as possible, but they don't have to be perfect. I just kind of estimate, but you can definitely measure if you choose to do so. So I've actually run out of burlap, but I have one more poof to make. So I'm going to make this poof and then cut away the excess burlap. And I'll have to start over with the new roll. You see that doesn't make a large enough poof. Alright, so I have another roll of burlap. I'm going to start where I left off, unravel, place the burlap, and twist it back. That way you can't tell where the burlap starts and stops. I will make my final poof, unravel, place the burlap, and twist it back. So now I'm back at my starting point. And now instead of cutting the burlap and starting over in the center, I'm just going to make another poof and go to the next Chanel stem. I don't want to use that one because it's too close, so I'm going to go to the next one that's a little further away, just so it makes a decent sized poof and they stay as uniform as possible. So make my poof, place it in the next inner Chanel stem, and twist it a couple of times. And then repeat the same steps all the way around the inner ring just like we did on the outer ring. Alright, so I have come all the way back to my starting point. I have one final stem. I'm making my last poof, placing it down and twisting it a couple of times. Then I'm going to cut away the excess burlap and tuck it away where it's not visible. And I'm kind of flaring out all of my poofs to make sure they're nice and poofy. Next, I'm going to take my white burlap and olive ribbon and cut them into 10 inch long pieces. And I've also cut the brown and white deco mesh into eight inch long pieces. So I'm going to start making my bundles and placing them around the wreath. All right, so I've decided to go with one of each of my three colors of ribbon and one piece of brown and one piece of white deco mesh. So I'm going to curl my deco mesh at a diagonal so it has a nice little point just like that. And I'm going to crisscross everything. So when I crisscross, I like to make sure all of my ribbon and all of my deco mesh is visible. Scrunch it all together. Pick a Chanel stem. Unravel. Place the bundle. And twist it back a couple of times. So I'm going to make a few more bundles and show you what it's looking like. Alright, I have all of my bundles in place. It looks so cute and precious. I love the color scheme, but you can modify the color scheme to fit your needs. But this makes a cute wreath by itself, so you can definitely leave it like this if you choose to do so. Alright, I'm going to add the sign, which I purchased at Dollar Tree. I'm just cutting off the top hanger, turning my sign over, taking four Chanel stems, twist two of them together for the top to make one long Chanel stem, and two for the bottom. 
And then we're going to hot glue the stems in place, making sure you have enough stem hanging off of each of the four sides to attach to the wreath. So now we're just trying to kind of push and make space in the center of the wreath because I really don't want to cover any of it but I want to have enough space for my sign to fit snugly in the center. Once I have it in place I'm just going to attach the Chanel stems and I want to make sure I attach them to the actual wreath ring. So I'm just going to push the burlap and ribbon and everything out of the way and wrap the Chanel stem around the wreath ring in all four sections. So I have my sign in place. Now I'm just maneuvering the wreath to make sure I close any gaps or spaces and it looks so cute and precious. You can definitely add more embellishments, more ribbon, burlap, whatever you prefer. Just have fun with it and make it your own. But it's as cute, simple, and easy to make. Mm -hmm. 